Hey everyone, and welcome to an anime tutorial. Today we will be looking at creating an anime character based off a piece by Clark McDougall and his portrait of George Thorman. Let's hop on in! You guessed it, we start off with a circle. Let's add a dot in the middle of our circle. The dot will be the tip of our triangle. This will help us map out our pose for our character. Erase every line that's within the circle. See a sketch line. Let's draw a circle for the shoulder, followed up by a rectangle leading off of that circle. Don't forget to trim your rectangle shape. Now, let's draw a little circle for the elbow. From there, let's draw the character's arm. I like to describe it as a triangle without a point. Let's work on defining the back of the neck and shaping the curves on our head. After creating the forehead line, let's make a line that indents for the eye. Let's bring out a line for the nose and tip the bottom inwards. Where the nose ends is where we can place our ear. The height of our ear will be the height of our brow. Now, for those angular lips, draw an M shape for them. For the jaw, bring a line down from the ear. And let's not forget those famous pointy anime chins. Finally, connect the two together with a line. Oh, this just in. Get good done! I drew my sketch of George Thorman before drawing my anime character. Who is George Thorman? Why, well, he is our reference for our anime lesson today. To learn more about the artist, Clark McDougall's work, the link to our website is in the description. What is your sketchbook filled with? Let us know in the comments below. We have mapped in our pointy eyebrows. Now for the eyes. Let's make a sideways V shape to draw that eye. Then we'll draw a vertical line down to close it. Darken that upper line to create depth for the eye. Wow, you got this. And for our mouth, let's make a thin line for expression. I like to create an upside down triangle to create depth on the chin. Now for the ear, let's mimic the ear shape below with the curve. And then, for cartoony purposes, let's draw the number 3 in the middle. Trust me, it'll look good. For the eyes, let's make a curve for the initial shape. Shade in the top of that curve, but leave a white area in the left corner. Wow, looking fantastic. Now, let's work on the hair. Anime characters are known for their spiky hair and extravagant locks, but you can go as tame or as wild as you like. Notice how we draw above our head? That gives our hair volume. Let's add some rock and bangs for good measure. Wow, how can he see through those locks? Thank goodness he has 20-20 vision. Once finishing the hair, you can erase the sketch lines we did before. See your sketch lines. For the attire, start by finding the center of our character's pose to find the neck. I decided to give my character a collar and a bow tie. 
and Billy decided to go with a nice sweater. Nice! Let's map out the other shoulder and accentuate our lines for the clothes. Here comes the bow tie. Let's create a cuff on the shirt and give some ripples to our outfits. And finally, erase the sketch lines from earlier. Nice, it's really coming to life. Let's give our character some neck muscle and a defined neck. Get done. Here's some cool animation you can incorporate with your drawing. Wow, super cool. Time for inking and coloring. What colors are you gonna use for your character? How did yours turn out? Always feel free to take us your artwork on our Instagram. The link is in the description below. Wow, our characters seem to grow up so fast. You know what they say, sunrise, sunset. To finish our drawings, let's add some cute accents and sparkles, and then erase the layer underneath. And there you have it, two uniquely made anime characters based off the same lesson. What does your character look like? Does yours have superpowers or the power to just look good? Because these drawings definitely look good. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun video lessons and more. Have fun with your art. Bye!